Hey there, folks. Welcome back. So part two of the foam plate printing videos is going to show you how to create a rainbow print. Now, in the previous video, I showed you how to create your symmetrical printing plate. It is helpful if you put little tabs with tape on the back of your plate so you can pick it up and put it down. That's very helpful. And the first thing you want to do is you want to take some just regular white paper, and this one I've already colored, but what you do is you put your plate right on your paper and you just trace right around. And that's good because then you know what space you need to color in. Now how you colorize this is up to you. This is what I call the paint drip kind of um, colorization, but you could do um, rainbow, you could do ink splotches, there's lots of different ways you can colorize your paper. You want to have three of those because you're going to do at least three prints, okay? You also need to have a what's called a bench hook, and it's called a bench hook because there's a hook that can hook right onto the edge of your table. You need what's called a brayer, a baron, and a palette knife is super helpful to scoop out your ink. Now this is water soluble ink, which means it cleans up very easily with water, which is great. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have some paper underneath your workspace because the ink will go everywhere. It really does. It's great because it's easy to wash off, but it's going to go everywhere. So when you have your ink, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you put enough on the bench hook to get it onto your roller, but not too much. And when you get too much, you're going to know it because what's going to happen is when you are rolling this out, you're going to create what look like rivers of ink, and um, that's not good. But the purpose of rolling it out on your bench hook here is really to coat your roller. And I hope you can hear that sticky sound. That tells you you're in the right amount of ink. That's what you want. All right, so once you've got your ink on your roller. You're going to go ahead and take your plate and you're going to use your roller to apply that ink. And because you're only using one color, which is the black for this project, you can actually roll it on in different directions. And that's a nice thing because you can better help coat your plate. You can see the ink is getting on the paper here. Like I said, that ink wants to get on everything. Okay. When you're ready and you think you got enough ink on your plate, you're going to take it and hopefully put your, your paper down in a cleaner location. I have a small screen to work in here. And you want to try to take your plate and register it inside as best you can. Take my tabs, and what I try to do is look at my corners and try to press it first in a corner, and then I kind of bow out the middle so I don't have an air pocket. And then I'm going to take the Baron, and what that does is it helps to press down your plate, and you're going to press it all over the back surface of your plate. Press, press, press. Make sure you're getting all locations. And you can always check just by peeling up the side to see if there's a spot you need a little bit more ink. But when you think you're ready, you're going to take it and very carefully peel it off the paper and watch that piece magically appear. I'm going to turn it over so you can see a little bit better. There we go. So I'm noticing with my plate, I needed a little bit more pressure or perhaps ink in this side here. I neglected that a little bit and a little bit more pressure in here. But you can see where I really nailed it up in here and how that color comes through. Now, if you really wanted to, it is possible to go back in, ink your plate just a bit more if you want to re-register and press. You never know what's going to happen when you do that. I'm going to give it a try. We'll see what happens. I put a little extra ink on my plate. If you don't get it just perfect, sometimes you get a double print in a couple locations, but 
I don't know, we'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. So I'm just pressing a little bit more in that spot. You can peek, you can press, peek and press back and forth. Oh, that looks better. There we go. And this little crack here is actually because I've got a crack in my plate as well. But you can see when you get a really strong print, you can get that color to come right through. So that's why I'm asking you to do three. Now just be aware your first print is going to be very light because the ink is going to be absorbed a bit into the foam. So instead of using one of these, you can always use just a scrap piece of paper um, instead. And that will help give you a sense of what your print is going to look like and um, how it will show up on your colorized paper. So if you're working remotely, you want to do three of those and send those pictures to me. Have fun. Next up will be your blended roll-up.